Hi, this is Russ Hardy with Field Piece Instruments, and today we're going to do an experiment on the new Field Piece vacuum pump, the VP85. So let's go ahead and introduce the vacuum pump. This is a DC powered vacuum pump, so it has a DC motor in it. It's 8 CFM, and one of the best features on this vacuum pump is its oil management system. This is the run quick oil management system. So what you can do is actually change oil on the fly while you're in vacuum without losing your vacuum. So that's what we're gonna to demonstrate today. What we have set up is two systems. Each of them has a vacuum pump, a S-Man 460 with a micron gauge built in, connected to a brand new recovery tank that's already pulled into vacuum. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add moisture to each of these tanks back here, uh, the same amount, eight milliliters. And then we're going to turn on the pumps and on this one, we're gonna change oil every 10 minutes for the first half an hour of the test. So three oil changes in total. And this one we're just gonna leave with its original oil and compare the microns after 30 minutes and then throughout the test until they reach a level of 500 microns for both of them. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me go ahead and introduce Ryan. He's in our engineering department and he's gonna help us conduct this experiment. So let's go. Okay, so the first step is we're going to change the oil and put fresh oil in both. So we're gonna go ahead and turn them on. Show you that it can be changed on the fly. Open up the door. We have oil in here already. We're gonna dump that to this below container up here. Let it fill up. You see it takes about 10 seconds to drain. We're gonna let it run a couple minutes while it's draining. Or a couple seconds. That's probably good. Let's close up the valves. Now what we can do with our discarded oil is you'll notice that it has a nice place for the cap right here. Close it and store it right on the side of the tank so you can get it out of the way. Here's our fresh oil. Go ahead and dump in. And you can see that you can quickly add oil right there. Let it drain out the last few drops. And we'll go ahead and put it right back for when we want to change this oil again. So get it in there nice and tight. Close up the oil fill compartment and away we go. Okay, so we're going to start out with the gas ballast on. You see that it has a nice light to let you know that the gas ballast is, not, is on. You obviously can hear it as well. And then we're going to go ahead and open up to the vacuum pump and to each tank. Now the tanks aren't open yet, so this is just pulling vacuum on the hose. There we go. Make sure all my other valves are closed tightly. And away we go. So we're already into microns. I'm into a little over 700. He's below, a little below 700. So we're in the ballpark. All right. So now what we're gonna do is add water to these hoses right here. We're not gonna add them to the tank just yet, but let's get water in the hoses ready to go. So we're gonna do eight milliliters in that one. Build up. Eight milliliters in this one. Okay. Now we're going to open the valve up to the tank to the pump. Now these should be already under vacuum because they are direct from the factory. Maybe not, but uh, so they weren't. And we'll let those pull into vacuum just for a couple seconds. Let's see if it gets down there. We'll wait until the micron gauge clicks on should be just a couple more seconds. All right, well actually, since they're both at 29.9, what we're gonna do is add the water now. You'll see this jump up dramatically right in the beginning. So, one, two, three. 
One, two, three, four, five, close. All right, and just to show that all the water's out, we got all the water out of the hoses. Okay, perfect. So now let's go ahead and look at the microns. You see that the inches of mercury jumped down, or actually technically jumped up. So now what we're gonna do is let this go for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna change the oil on this pump right here, so you can see what happens with this oil. So we'll check back in in about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. Now we're just gonna close the gas ballast. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes and change the oil. Okay, so let's check back in. They got to about the same level of microns. We're floating just under 1600, 1,600 microns on both of them. You'll see that the oil looks dramatically different. Actually, they're, going, they're coming about the same. So this one somehow collected the oil a little bit sooner than this one did. But you can see that the oil looks about you know, as dirty on both of them. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is change oil on this one. And I can do it right on the fly. I don't have to do anything. I'm gonna open up this valve. You'll see it drain out. And I'm gonna get my brand new, a brand new canister from back here. Ready to go, let's let that go for just a couple of seconds to make sure all the dirty oil gets out. And you'll notice nothing happened to the microns up here. So we're, we're running on no oil. We drained it and we're still under that 1600 mark. So no change in our microns. I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Take the brand new oil. Dump it in. And again, take my discarded oil. Stick it on this side over here. And replace my drain canister. Get the cap over here so we don't lose it. All right. Go ahead and close it up and we'll check back in in another 10 minutes. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, you'll see that there's actually not much change happening. Now, a couple things you'll see is the rate of change on the micron gauge is right around zero or maybe just a little bit under and sometimes a little bit over as that molecule, as the molecules of water start boiling off. You'll also notice that both oil uh, canisters are pretty milky. That means they're, they're filled up with water. So what we're gonna do again is change the oil on this one Go ahead and empty it out. Grab a fresh new canister. Let it run for just a couple seconds with no oil just to make sure we got it. You'll notice up top that we have not lost our microns once again. We're actually still pulling microns just a little bit. We'll go ahead and close this one up and add our fresh oil. While that's draining in, I'm gonna take our discarded oil. Oops. And replace, oops, replace my drain can. All right. Screw the lid back on, and we'll go ahead and check back in another 10 minutes.
Okay, one thing to note on here is we just caught up. This one just passed this one, but we're still pretty close. But if you notice just uh, about a, a couple minutes ago, this one was pulling much down much faster than this one, but now it's got up to actually going positive. So what we want to do is change the oil again. You'll see that again, we this this one is just as milky as this one, and this has never been changed, and this has been changed uh, twice now. So here's for the last oil change. We're gonna drain it. Okay, let that go. Just a couple more seconds. All right, we'll close it up. And we can go ahead and add one more brand new. Once again, take the dirty oil out. Go ahead and restore my drain can. Put the cap back on, and we'll see you in another 10 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, we're still about even. You notice the rate on this one has jumped up pretty dramatically. But what we should see is that this, once we get clean oil in here and all the water out, we should see this take, you know, kind of take a corner, turn the corner and really start pumping up. We already no we're noticing it now at minus 180, 80, 200 and change. And this one's still stuck, not changing whatsoever. So we just turned the corner on this one. So we're gonna let this go just a little bit longer on this, on this oil and uh, see when that starts decreasing. And then we're actually gonna change oil again and uh, we might, it might take a couple more changes for this to really start pulling down again. And so we might have added a little bit of an extreme amount of water to these, but this just proves the point that if you have dirty oil, it's not gonna be pulling down to, uh, once it hits, once it's saturated with water, it'll just stop pulling down. So we'll uh, check back in just a couple minutes here, change out the oil again, and uh, see where we're at. Okay, so let's get in here and change this oil. Once again, empty it out. Once again, take my discarded oil, cap it off. And replace my drain can. All right, so we just broke the 500 micron mark. As you can see, we kind of turned the corner in this one. Let's go ahead and check out the, the difference in the oil. So this is the original oil. This has never been changed and very milky. This is the first one that the oil after 10 minutes has stayed more or less clear. So we're gonna keep this oil in. We're not gonna do another change. And we're just gonna let, this, let these two run and see, maybe check back in an hour or half an hour. We'll, we'll, we'll monitor this to see how low we go. But you can see this is this one barely just broke a thousand not that long ago, and this one's already broken 500. So uh, we'll check back in maybe an hour and see where this one, see where they're both at.
Okay, so we're at the two hour mark of this test and on the one vacuum pump that we were changing the oil, we got down to 236 microns. On the one where we never changed oil, we're at 750, so we still haven't met our 500 micron limit yet and we're at least a couple hours away from that if we still don't change the oil on this. Uh, this one hit 500 microns at an hour. And a couple things to notice is finally on our fifth oil, this is four total changes, but on our fifth uh, car uh, cartridge of oil, it has not gone white yet, so we do have all the moisture out of the system, and it's just a matter of pulling down. You can see on this one, this has been white the whole time because uh, it was sucking in water and clearing it out. So what we're gonna do is uh, call this test done, and the real question is, is do you want to be able to hit your microns faster by spending a little bit extra on oil? We spent a total of about 20 bucks on oil throughout this experiment in order to reach our 500 micron limit in an hour, or in this case, 236 microns in two hours. So that's the real question uh, that you want to ask yourself, is do you want to spend a little bit extra to save yourself a bunch of time in your vacuum pull downs and do, doing the job right? So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.